Uh, hey everyone, I stopped watching the Falcons game because of problems like this. This is a play such that when A.J. McCarron, the quarterback, given the blocking scheme, goes back to pass, you should stop right there, be told to stop right there and then throw. But they've got it such that it's a quick blocking scheme. In other words, they only hold their blocks for a second, and yet they have McCarron executing a fake that takes over a second. So what happens? The blocking slips down. It collapses real quick. Watch. He makes his fake, and then, look, they're already in the backfield. The primary he wants to throw to isn't open because the t he's there being asked to run a longer pattern than he should. And what happens? He gets rushed. He gets collared. He gets flushed out of the pocket. And he gets stopped after a run. And all that because the play was maltimed. Here's another example of just how lousy this offense is. Here's another example. This is going to be a weak side run to the side opposite of the tight end. What the Falcons do is they first put the tight end in a fake motion where he comes back across, and then he stops there. Now, note, that's the strong side. They have him running the weak side, but look, watch what happens. Starting with the offensive tackle on the right side over there, and here is the snap of the ball. Right here... The outside linebacker gets inside leverage and blows the play up. But look at the blocking angle. The tackle, look at this. Look at look at look at what's going on here. The tackle, the tackle here doesn't fire off. He okay, see that? He takes an angle outside like he thinks the end is gonna follow him rather than going to directly block the end thereby getting leverage on the end to push him back. He doesn't push him back, he moves sideways. And whoever told him to do that, it wasn't the player, it was the coach. And so because he was told to do the wrong thing, he is out of position by design. So watch what happens. 99 gets inside position, he gets into the backfield, and he gets so far into the backfield that he puts the halfback off his route, gets bounced to the outside, the middle linebacker, who was also not blocked on that side because the scheme didn't call for the middle linebacker to be blocked, so he comes flying through, downs him for a loss. This is all on the coaching staff. It's not the player's fault. This is a, stu this is a stupid scheme in action from a rookie head coach who they selected over Kansas City Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy. I mean, you got to be kidding me, Okay. I mean, watch watch what happens with this guy over here. In the middle, right? That that's the that's the um, he would normally be the middle backer, but they've got him up in an inside linebacker, and they have the stand up end as the outside linebacker. So watch what happens. Okay, he comes flying through there, and it's made to make the stop. Now, the, what you normally do is you have the tight end on that side. Or a crackback, but and then on top of that, you've got the receiver so far in, you're bringing the cornerback into the party too up here, all right, to force the run. This is stupid. This is completely stupid. They expect to get a run out of this. It is. It's to be laughed at. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm supposed to watch this nightmare unfold. I know what's going to happen. I haven't even looked at the statistics. I know what they're going to show. It's horrible stuff. Falcons are ahead 13 and nothing. It's two minutes before the half. A.J. McCarron's three of 10 for 23 yards and one interception. Rushing. A.J. McCarron is the leading rusher. The quarterback is leading rush of two carries for 11 yards, a 5.5 yard average. J.B. Hawkins, two for four, two yard average. Caleb Hundley, who got down for loss, two for nothing. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is what you have to show for an entire half of football? This is the guy that's the problem. Dave Ragone has not had an offensive coordinator job until now. He's passing game coordinator before, and this is his first job, and it shows.